there is a case filed by the feds against North Carolina. Tell us who filed specifically and what's at issue there. Uh, it was filed by the Justice Department, the United States of America Justice Department. Uh, the case is captioned United States of America versus State of North Carolina. And that that's interesting because it focuses uh, all all of the issues come down to a single cause of action. What a lot of non-lawyers may not understand is that every lawsuit lists one or more specific causes of action or counts. Uh, similar to the way in a criminal case, someone might be charged with multiple violations of the law. In a civil lawsuit, there are oftentimes multiple counts. Uh, but the United States of America lawsuit, the USA versus North Carolina, raises a single cause of action under the Voting Rights Act. And what is the allegation in the suit? Uh, that focuses on all of the, the principal components of the election and voting reform bill. What we saw last summer with this piece of legislation, this new um, sort of common sense reform, a lot of people think it's just photo ID. It's not. There are a lot of other common sense reforms in there. Um, we now, of course, have the photo ID, which everyone's more or less familiar with. Uh, but they also eliminated same-day registration and reduced the number of days for early voting, but it kept the same number of hours. And we also eliminated out-of-precinct voting. Now, those, com those are all important to make sure that there's time to verify uh, voters, make sure that people who are registering and voting are, are lawfully allowed to do so. In the United States of America versus North Carolina lawsuit, all of those provisions in the new law are challenged, and the federal government is coming in and saying that North Carolina, with all four of those, has violated the Voting, the voting Rights Act. 